Hi and welcome. I'm Adam, this is my home kitchen. Thanks for joining, watching this video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to break this chicken down into 12 or more pieces. Uh, it's a great way to save money. Instead of paying over the other expensive cuts at the supermarket, uh, you'll be able to break this down, you'll be able to put it in the fridge, the freezer, chop it in different ways uh, and you can set out the meals that you want. All set to go, board is secured, my knife is sharpened and I've got my chicken here ready to go. This is a two kilo chicken, it's just from the supermarket. Uh, this is uh, been out of the room temperature now for about half an hour, so brought it up to room temperature. It's a lot easier to work with, uh, save obviously it's going to be quite hold in, cold in your hands otherwise as well. First thing to say about this is don't work around the chicken. First couple of times I started doing this, I was trying to be really delicate and respectful to the bird and working around it. You know, move it as much as you need to. It's very light, very easy to manoeuvre. So. You know, that's when you're going to start risking cutting your fingers. If you start cutting blind, that's when you're going to cause yourself an injury and you're going to have to throw chicken in a bin. What a waste. Fix the whole purpose of the video. So, what we're going to do uh, for the purposes of trying to make sure my hands are not in the way, doing some of this upside down, you might see me shuffling around, you might not, but uh, at home definitely uh, don't work around your bird. So, um, looking at this now, you've got your legs obviously are tied. We're going to take that off gonna get rid of that I've done absolutely nothing to this part and take it out of the packaging and leaving it to rest skin's gone a bit flaky there so obviously you've got your legs your breast you've got your wings and just flip it over there's a little hidden gem back here which are these two oysters some people care for them some people don't I'll show you how to get those out if it is something that you would like to do so let's begin. First things first, I'm going to take our knife. I'm just going to take these wing tips off. So on any of these joints, just look for where it bends. You can just score it if you need to, just to make sure you find the right area. If you find it starting to go through bone, you're in the wrong place. Should go through as easy as that. If you do find it starting to soar onto bone, what you need to do is stop. Ready? Because you're going to blunt your knife, you won't be able to see what you're doing. Um, stop. Have another go, look again, find the joint, where is it bending, that's where we're going to go. In there, expose it with the skin, just like that, and it should come off effortlessly. There are your two wings. So, I'm going to do this part upside down, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. We've got the legs here, you'll see you've got these pinches of skin in between. You just want to open those up, just gently, no pressure on the knife. Just want to get in there to see in between the breast of the bird and legs. Once you've done that, pop it up onto its side. You want the thumbs on the hip there. What you're going to do is just push and twist until that comes out, exposing the bone just here. So this is when we're going to go in for your oyster back here. I'm going to cut back there, down towards the spine, take it out. See there, we've got the oyster. Lift it up, and you should be able to just effortlessly slice through. First chicken leg is off. Set that to one side. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side of the bird. Again, I'll do it upside down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You can pinch that skin there. That's going to help you to see exactly what you're up to. Making sure that you're not cutting into the flesh. Again, take your time with this. All you're trying to do is just expose that joint. So all I've done there is cut the skin. Again, got our oyster at the back. Finger, thumb, however you want to do it. Some people do it together. You can do one at a time. As you start off, again, don't rush. Do them one by one. All you're going to do, push that hip joint out. And there it is. See? Perfect. So again, we're going to come around the back. I'm going to scoop that oyster out, just out there. Use the weight of the chicken at this point, just very gently. What I'm doing is cutting through skin. There's no meat coming off. There's your second part. Very little waste, apart from half the oyster. I don't use those anyway. 
Uh, most people don't, it's really just a preference. Next part is the wing. Again, we're using any joint or anything like that. Just see where it is, see where it's moving. You can see where you've got a cut. Most of these will have natural creases. You can just cut into there. Be careful not to go into your chicken uh, breast. But just cut round. Again, no rush, don't try and do it in one fell swoop. Use the tip of your knife where you need to and just take it away. Once you find your joint, you're about to cut straight through and there's your chicken wing. Exactly the same on the other side. So what I want to aim for, I suppose what you'd call the armpit really, of the chicken. And just go round. It'll start to come away very easily without having to put too much force or pressure. Once you start to feel that, you know you're in the right area. Again, if you're finding that you're coming up against bone, you've made a mistake. So just take a step back, have a look, just cut round, and there you go. So in just a couple of minutes, taking off two legs, two wings. Before we move on and look at taking some of the fillet off, what I want to do is show you how to separate these parts. Again, there's your oyster. I don't care for it. If you do want it, you can just cut it off. What I will show you is how to remove your drumstick from your thigh. If you're a chef or a butcher, you probably stand it up on its end, take it off this way. No need to do that. All you need to look for is this white line here. You see the fat line running down in between. And you want to cut just on the drum side of that line and it will take you straight through every time. And there you go. One thigh, one drum. Move those out of the way. Exactly the same again. Just look for that little bit there. And again, don't be afraid to pull the skin around, double check it, move it, see what you're doing. Once you've found that area, one cut through, you're done. Should be no sawing, no hacking, no whacking of the knife. Should be that easy just to slide through. So we've now got the chicken breast. I was going to show you how to leave the skin on, but I've, most of it seems to be coming off. Never mind. All right, what we're going to do now, it's very difficult to work on this safely without it wobbling around. That's where you're going to end up cutting yourself if you're not careful. What you want to do is essentially remove this part, which is the spine. You can see, again, you've got these lines, little diagrams, little blueprints showing you exactly what you need to do and where you need to cut. So for this part, you can use a knife. You can just cut through there. You can use poultry scissors, depends on what you've got to hand. <clears throat> I'll do one on each side. So that side, we can use a knife coming down by the fillet. And then you've got the ribs just there. So much easier if you've got the scissors. Cut through, start to get the inside. Again, what you're doing. So we're just going to follow that line. Hopefully, you can see that properly on that. Cut through. What we're trying to do at this point is expose and remove the spine. Just fold that back. It will pretty much break away in your hands anyway. At this point, you can just cut through and remove whatever is left. I personally throw this bit away. Um, again, probably shouldn't. Great for stocks, stews, broths, all that sort of stuff. You can see so far we've got very, very little waste. We've got two wing tips. Hardly any meat there on the spine. So, next thing's up. You've actually now got, there's your chicken crown. So instead of buying your fillets, buying your wings, buying your legs, your crowns, you're talking 10, 12, 14 pound, you can buy a good size, decent, uh, free range chicken, three, four pounds from your supermarket. And there's your turkey ground, you're having a small roast, you can have it like that. 
what I'm going to show you now is how to get these off the, the bone. So this will be two boneless fillets. What you need for this, you can see you've got a line right down there, which is where you've got your two chicken breasts side by side. Make sure your skin's pulled tight. What you don't want to do is have the skin all squiffy. You're going to cut them off, separate them, and then you're not going to have enough skin. You've got a, a cleaver, a big sharp knife. You can just go straight through the middle. That'll leave the bone on. I'm going to demonstrate that in a different video. What we want to do now is just cut very gently through here. Find the sternum. And you want to stay as close to that now as you can. So what you don't want to start doing is wasting meat. So there it is. You can hear it. Now the first few times I did this, I left more meat on than I took off, I think. All you want to do is you're just very gently teasing away that meat from the bone. Use just the tip of your knife and just very gently cut away. Again, you don't want to be leaving masses and masses of meat here on the carcass because it really defeats the whole point of doing this yourself to save money. Now, don't get me wrong, first few times you're going to lose bits. Don't rush, don't panic. Take as long as you need, and the more you do it, the quicker you're going to get. Okay, I'm doing this upside down for the benefit of the camera, which is always fun. Up here we've got the wishbone. You can remove that before you start. You can cut through it. Again, I think for the amount of meat that you're talking about losing, I simply just cut round it and just take it away. Okay, so we're up there. There we go. There's your first fillet. Still got the wishbone there, I'll show you how to move that out. There's your first fillet. What you're doing second time around, you're just feeling for where that sternum is. And again, fingers out the way. You want to go as close to that as you can. Just slice very gently. Let the weight of the chicken take away from the sternum. Just gently tease with the knife, take as long as you need. Now these are great if you just want uh, skinless fillets. So if you want to pan fry them, if you want to dice them for curries, for stir fries, anything like that. I'm also going to show you just now how to skin these and uh, also how to butterfly. So if you wanted to then turn it into an extra couple of cuts, you wanted to share it if you didn't you know this is an extra large chicken so it's probably too much meat here for one fillet depending on what else you're having it with so you might want to make your put again your portions go further and spread those okay you can see there there's next to no meat left on that carcass and what you've got two fillets. You can trim these up as you wish, start taking off any bits. Again, all of this here, that's your only waste, and even that's going to stock and to soups. So, there are your two fillets. I'm just going to clean the board, so we're getting a bit messy. And then what I'll show you, how to take the skin off of these, really, really easy. It is as simple as finding it and just pull the skin off. I mean, that couldn't be any easier. There you go. So, turning this over, that there, that is your mini fillet. Pay a fortune for these in the shops. I have absolutely no idea why. You can just Pull that off with the seam, or well, really what you should do, if you want a nice clean cut, just to cut through there. There's your little chicken sizzlers, 
your goujons. If you want to deep fry those, you've got them as well. So there you've got one fillet, one mini fillet. That one I'm going to leave the skin on because again, if you want to season that crisp bit, you can have that as it is. You've got your mini fillet there. What I'll do now is show you how to uh, to butterfly this. You want to make the scallops. If you want to strip them into thin chicken strips or little sizzlers, this is the way to do it. Again, hands out of the way. What you want to do at this point is you put your hand on the top, palm flat, and you're going to cut it as if it were a burger bun. So, again, I'm going to try and do it upside down just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Make sure my hands are not in the way. Hand flat, knife straight through the middle, as if you're cutting a bread roll, something like that. Burger bun. Once you've got your cut halfway through, you can then just do the rest. Open it up, and again, start to tease that across. And there you have butterfly chicken breast. Clues in the name, I suppose. It's more like a love heart to me, but whatever. So at this point, you can cut it down the middle. You've got two thinner fillets. You can roller it. You can then slice it. At that point, it's completely up to you. Again, depends on what recipes you've, you're, you're eating. So, as a recap, only waste we've got. Very minimal on the carcass. Two wing tips and the spine with some skin. Looking at... The meat we've got left, we've got two fillets. We've obviously got two mini fillets if you take the second one out of here, which I'll show you quickly. There's your second mini fillet. Two wings, two drums, and two thighs. So I'm gonna to start to lay them out for you so you've got a nicer view. Two of those, two mini fillets. Of course, you've got your oysters on these legs, which I don't bother with, like I say, if you wish. They are there. You've got two of those. Just laying this out so you can see it. You've got your two drums. And then what I'll show you on this, I personally would cut those, turning two pieces into four. Obviously, there's not any more meat on it, but uh, you know, you might be doing different things again. Bend the joint, look for where you need to cut, through there, should get a clean cut every time. You want to deep fry those, you want to put some sauce on them, you can roast them. It all depends on how you like to eat them. Again, just feel for the joint, once you've found it, which I've not managed to do, there it is. are a bit dirty. That is, is, is what you don't want when you completely miss the joint. But again, just bend them, wait till you feel where you are. And again, we've now turned that into four pieces. So you've got your four wings. Let's move this out of the way. And I'll replace it with 12 pounds worth of chicken for three pound. Two main fillets, two mini fillets, two thighs, two legs, four wings, bingo. Thanks for watching. Next video is gonna be how to spatchcock a chicken. At that point, I'll show you how to leave the bone in on the fillet if that's what you like. If you do like it, obviously uh, check back and when that video is ready, you can subscribe and you'll be notified straight away. Thanks for watching.